Hi everyone, welcome to this Photoshop tutorial video. This video is for beginners looking to make basic adjustments to their images. I'm not going to do any extensive editing, just how to take a flat image and take it to the next level. So I've got four images. I've got a picture of whilst taken in Paris, a hill, landscape, picture, a picture of a coot and a street photo again from Paris. Right, so first of all what we want to do is press Ctrl J or Command J and this creates a layer copy and you always want to make sure you create a copy just in case you don't like what you've done you've, you've always got that backup you can always go back and start over. So now we need to go to filter at the top down to camera raw filter And on the right here, this is where we can make our, our, our adjustments. Right, just so it looks a bit dark and dim, we want to turn those shadows up. Same with the blacks. And you can see some sun trying to come through in the background. So we'll turn the temperature up a bit just to add some light to it. Maybe some tint. That's nice. Let's turn the contrast down a bit. Uh, around there. And we need to get rid of the highlights and the whites. So that sky is all blown out. Texture. It's always good when you're starting out editing just to play around the sliders. Just go down each one, move it around, see what looks good, see what works for you. That looks okay. Dehaze, just not too much, just there. Maybe the shadows up a tiny bit more. Or oh, press okay. And then on the right in the layers panel, if you click on the eye, it'll hide that copy and you get your original image. So if you keep clicking, you can toggle between before and after. So this is the original shot. And then with some basic adjustments, this is what we end up with. And I think that that's pretty good. Pretty good just to say all we've done is made some basic edits to it. Alright, so moving on to this hilly landscape. Again, Control G to copy. Filter, camera raw filter. And straight away you want to get rid of the highlights and the whites. And as you can see you can you can see the hills in the background trying to come through. So the contrast up a bit on the blacks. Increase the texture and the clarity the shadows, play around the shadows I think that looks okay dehairs, any dehairs no that's about right, click ok and again you can toggle between the two and we haven't done too much, but you can tell with the edits, it is a better picture. So moving on to the next. A picture of a coot. And first of all, I'm just going to crop it slightly. That's better. Control J again to copy the layer. Filter. Camera off filter. Right, let's start with bringing the shadows up. That's too much. That'll do. The blacks. Oh, 
put on there, increase the texture all the way, clarity, about halfway there, that looks okay. Turn the whites down and definitely the highlights, not too much. Mess around with the contrast, that's okay. And as you can see, the red eye, you want to make that really pop out. So if you come down to color mixer and saturation and on the red, turn that up. And same again on luminance. You can see the eyes really popped out. And again, toggle between the two. Oh, it's miles better. Also, I would go further with this. I would probably make the background all this grey colour, get rid of all this. But this is just a basic edit video, so I'll leave that. And also, all this. All the white white specks on the face, I'll probably get rid of all that as well. And all this green on the feathers. That's from a plant. Yeah, just get get rid of that. But yeah. Miles better. The last picture. Just a street picture from Paris. Control J, copy, it, filter, camera raw filter. And with this, what I want what I want to do is turn the exposure down and just get the light coming from all the street signs. So you want to turn the highlights down here. Turn the whites down. And the exposure just a tiny bit, not too much, not too much. Turn the blacks down a bit. And the shadows. Contrast. Around 36. Increase the texture. And the clarity. Dehaze just slightly. And turn the highlights up a bit for the signs, but not too much that the sky comes through in the background. So around around there and because of all the colours again come down to colour mixer saturation and any colour you see in the picture just turn it up bit of green bit of blue bit of blue again the luminance just turn it up Just turn everything up. I think that'll do. Press OK. And again, toggle. I think that's really good. That's what I wanted to do from the start. So guys, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, if you'd like to see more tutorials, Please like this video and subscribe.